I rebuke you. Amen. I'll ask you. Strengthen it. What it does not have is a component that holds police departments accountable. We're sick and tired. We're sick and tired of coming to rallies. We're sick and tired of protesting. We are sick and tired of demanding what this country owes us. Because as my sister Angela Rice said, we built this damn country for free. First of all, we have to break and eradicate the system. And I want to encourage you today because you never know when your last words are going to be said. And you've got to be mindful of your power in, in your words. And Sonia Massey left us with these words we've been saying all day. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And she was not just... And while we are outraged and also tired of coming out to rallies every time police in this country take the lives of black and brown people, I will still come outside every time. Every time. I will be outraged every time. every time. I will be heartbroken every time. every time. Because it's never going to be normal for me that people in our communities, mothers and fathers and sons and daughters, get their lives taken by those who are supposed to protect and serve them. My heart cries the same for Sonia Massey as it does for mothers in Gaza. There is no difference between human life. I want to be very clear that I hope that these moments make you realize and reaffirm that we are all we got. Eric Garner and Mike Brown were killed under Democratic administrations. George Floyd and Breonna Taylor were killed under a Republican administration. So don't let them keep telling you the big story about the Republicans and the Democrats because regardless of who's in office, if you are not fighting for your communities and those that you love, they will still kill you. Don't let them appease you and tell you younger, older, blacker, browner, Tell me what you stand for. Tell me what you're willing to fight for. Tell me what your platform is. Show me what you're going to do to make us avoid Breonna Taylor's and Sonia Massey's and George Floyd's and Oscar Grant's and Ayanna Stanley Jones and all Tom Sterling's. And we could sit here for two weeks naming black and brown people in this country that have been killed at the hands of law enforcement. Oh, the people she called because she felt unsafe came into her home and unalived her. Peace. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! And if we don't get no justice, then they not gonna have no damn peace. Let's pump it up. Oh, that she's black. She's gonna find out she's a black woman. And all the power that comes with that. And all the heartache that comes with it as well. But I want to make sure they know that I did everything I could to protect them and everything I could to step up when one of them was harmed. A few days ago, I saw a man on Fox call Kamala Harris a DEI hot tooth girl. No matter what you think of Kamala Harris, and I'm with you, Kamala. What you think of Kamala? And I'm with you. There is a through line that somebody feels comfortable enough to say to the vice president that she's a DEI hot to girl and Sonia Massey being shot to death. The devaluing of black women is the through line there. Yes, it is. And we have to be clear about that. And we have to stand up and speak up, right. no matter who it is, life that's being devalued. Irrevocable solidarity with our sister, who's come to, coming before us now. And she stands, A, because of Sonia Massey, is a pain she feels every day with the videos and the news that come out of Gaza. Just for these deaths in the name of the Almighty. And eradicate racism and oppression and poverty in this country.
peace. Vote for freedom on November 5th. Being harmed by a black leader feels just as painful as being harmed by a white leader. Let's keep it real. Please, let's keep it real and listen to me. I know, I don't know how political we could get, but listen, don't go from the frying pan into the fire. Please, we can get political. Listen to me. We got a lot of issues and I feel with my sister Kamala Harris. There were some concerns there. But I gotta tell you, under a Kamala Harris administration, we can at least lift our voices and try to push accountability without fear of the army coming and killing us because we dissent. That's the difference. I want y'all to understand that there is a difference. And that's why we have to do what we have to do, not because Someone is so great, it actually is because someone is so bad. Trump cannot bring fascism and Nazism back to this country. He just cannot. And that's the main focus. The main focus is making sure that doesn't happen. And after November, we're going to do what we got to do. And to my Democratic Party, I am tired of y'all telling us to vote for people just because the other person is worse. Y'all got to stop that. Because we tired of that. And I don't know if I could do this again in another four years. So stop that madness. But I tell you, with one person, we can hold accountable. To another person, and I'm keeping it real, I don't even know when the next election will be because they're going to try to destroy democracy. It is that under threat. Please hear what I'm telling you. Come out and do what you got to do so that my daughters have a country they can actually fight for. Y'all hear me? Say her name. Sonia Massey, say her name. Say her name.